Oh no. Oh god. Hey everybody, welcome to G-Tech, and today I'm gonna show you how to make one of these dope looking posters out of a bunch of old PC boxes. Because if you're like me and you've got a ton of hardware just kind of sitting around, you keep all of the boxes that you use to build systems out of. Instead of just letting that take up space, why not turn it into something kind of beautiful? I actually really like how mine turned out. And this isn't even an intensive process. This took me maybe five or six hours over the course of two days, something like that. And really all you need is a crap ton of boxes, a poster frame itself, and then something to cut them with. So today I'm actually gonna show you how to make one of these. So let's get started. All right, so to get started, you're gonna need a small handful of things. And first and foremost, you're gonna need all these PC part boxes. And before you go ahead and start cutting these up, First things first, you want to make sure that either your warranties are no longer in effect or you just straight up don't have the hardware anymore. Say one of your components breaks and you got to ship it back. Typically, they're going to want you to send it back in the retail packaging. So for example, if your graphics card breaks, they're going to want you to send it back in this box. Plain and simple, I just, I don't have these components anymore. These boxes are empty aside from, I don't know, spare SATA cables. These went into a flipper PC and you can see that video in the top left corner up here. So the next thing you're going to need is going to be an actual poster to put it in. This is just a real basic 18 by 24 inch poster frame, nothing special, it's all plastic. I will say though, some of this cardboard is a little bit thicker, so you may benefit from using something like a thicker poster that uses like a piece of glass up front, has like actual wooden edges. And then the last stuff you're gonna need is actually stuff to cut all the boxes with. So for me, that's going to involve the following. I've got just a plain basic cutting mat. This is just like a real basic like craft mat that you can get it like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something like that, any craft store really. But if you don't want to use something like this, you can just straight up use a cardboard box. Just be sure that if you are going to be using this, you're either using multiple layers of cardboard or really thick cardboard. And speaking of cutting, you're gonna need a couple tools. So for example, I just have a plain box cutter right here, with retractable razor, no biggie. And then I've also just got this little X-Acto knife. I'm not sure about the exact blade number. I don't think it really matters. And a couple of other things I have is just a real basic like marking tool. I just have a clicky ballpoint pen right here. I've got a ruler for making straight edges and lining everything up. I've got some tape to actually hold the boxes in place while I'm putting everything down. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep these boxes a little bit farther apart from each other and then fill in the gaps between them with this really, really thick Sharpie marker. So that's about it in terms of supplies for this project. I'm just gonna move everything off to a much safer working space so I'm not cutting holes in my pool table cover here, but then I'll kind of walk you through the process as I go. Okay, so I apologize ahead of time for the garbage tier audio. My AC decided to just kick on and there's not much I can do about it right now. So for example, this front fascia of the i7-6700K box right here, that's a really nice looking box. We're basically making a collage of all of these really nice, really pretty patterns, because I know these companies work real hard on their like box art and all that sort of stuff. So you're just gonna wanna start cutting everything apart. If you've got stickers on stuff, for example, this had Micro Center stickers on it, I'm just gonna try and lightly, really, really lightly peel this sticker off. Oh, dramatic peel. Oh, it left sticky gunk residue. Sticker Center, I was just gonna commend you for your beautiful peel of that sticker, but no, you left sticker juju on my box. Basically, this is your unfolded box, right? So I know I wanna keep this piece, and I know I wanna keep this piece, maybe this piece as well. So I'm just gonna start going ahead and cutting all these sides off. And I'm actually gonna use the box cutter itself for that. All right, so we've got the three edges of the boxes that we want to keep. We've got the nice Core i7 inside. We've got the back that says all your specs. It's got, what, four cores, eight threads. We've got the little itty bitty piece that says Core i7 inside, power play, create, real nice stuff. So just keep that aside. Everything else is scrap. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that to basically all of these boxes because I want to try and incorporate all of them into one poster. Now the next step is to sort all of these into some sort of just neat pattern really. So for example, say we want this one front and center, you might want to put that one right there. And then say we want to put an EVGA graphics card one. I mean, you basically just want to set up whatever you think looks best. You're not going to use all of them either. 
Unless you have a big enough poster frame for that. If so, then go nuts if you want. But yeah, it's all basically just you being creative at this point. So that's just a rough demonstration of kind of what you want to do. Like I said, you can rearrange these basically however the heck you want. They do not have to look identical to this. Whatever you think looks best, go right ahead. But I honestly think before I start making like permanent cuts to this, it would probably be better to have a larger poster because this this is a little bit small so i think i'm going to put it on pause here and i'm going to come back when i have a much larger poster so here we go oh good lord i have to zoom my camera out okay hold on so now we have a much larger surface to work with here as you can see you've got a whole lot more space here so now i can actually see these sorts of things in full That's gonna be good for now. I've basically covered the entire area of the poster frame itself. There are kind of a few areas like this right here, as well as some areas over here like that and like that. Those are kind of areas that I can't really figure out what to put in them. I think I'm gonna leave all of this as is. I'm gonna start taping all of these to the actual back of the poster frame itself, and then I will start kind of cutting all these edges off around the sides, and then from there I'll kind of figure out what I should do with these empty gaps. Okay, so at this point I've now gone and taped all of these pieces of boxes down to the board itself. They're not 100% secured, in fact they actually wiggle quite a bit. I just wanted to get them kind of in place so I can pick the whole thing up without everything sliding off and going nuts. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna take just a pen and I'm gonna outline all of the boxes. And then that way I know what to color in with my black Sharpie marker because I wanna do like a black background that everything's going to sit on top of. So at this point I've now taped down all of the boxes to the actual backing of the poster board itself. And the reason that I did this is because I'm hoping to be able to flip this whole thing without everything falling off. These are still highly removable, I just use tape. I'll be able to trace on the underside of where I actually need to cut them. And then that'll help keep it nice and straight along this entire outer border. And then from there, I'm basically done. And I could put the whole thing back into the frame itself and then get to hanging. So I'm gonna do that now. Holy crap. Okay, I am really thoroughly impressed with the results of this. I know that this is a little bit different than the normal content that I make, but I've seen these floating around online in the past and I just kind of needed one. And I noticed that there wasn't any real instructions on how to actually make one, so I took it upon the liberty of myself to make one for all of you. And besides, I have a bunch of boxes laying around, so why not make one? So I honestly really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you end up making one of these, make sure to send it to me. I wanna see it. You can tag me on Twitter, at GTechGeorge. But anyways, that's about gonna do it for now. And if you like this video, you know what to do. And if you wanna see more stuff like this, make sure to get subbed below, because I love making this stuff for you guys. And as always, have a good one. Honey, I'm a big